There's still space up in the front if you want to keep moving forward. Yeah. Okay. And I'll come up one step so you can see me. Okay. So in this month of April, I'm up here in case anyone's, I see some children looking around. Hi, good morning. So in this month of April, our spiritual theme is awakening. And when we say awakening, we're really talking about what it means to be awake in our lives and awake in our hearts too. And each and every, each, each and every day, we, we wake up don't we? Um, and sometimes we wake up more than once in a day if we're lucky enough to be able to take naps, right? But for, for some of us, we only wake up really once a day in the morning. Um, how many of you like to wake up in the morning? Yeah, you, you like that time of waking up? Some of you are raising your hands. And how, for how many of you is it kind of a hard, it's kind of hard, you really don't, you don't like, a lot of the adults are raising their hands, they don't, they don't really like the, the waking up. Um, yeah, so it can be, be kind of hard to do in the morning. You know, it's so nice to just, to just be asleep. But whether it's hard or easy to do, isn't it kind of amazing that each and every morning, we're lucky enough for our bodies to know when it's time to just wake up. Just sort of miraculously, we've been sleeping, and then all of a sudden, we're awake. Has anyone stopped to think about that before? Do you think that's kind of cool? Yeah? Yeah, it's just kind of cool that your eyes just sort of open and all of a sudden you're awake. So I want all of you to, to think about that time in the morning, your time of waking up, um, and to imagine yourself waking up. So we're going to do a little exercise together, imagining that, that time of waking up. So you might close your eyes. So I invite all of you, if you want, to close your eyes. And to get into that time of, you know, right before you wake up when you're just sort of still drowsy, still lying in bed, maybe you have some dreams, and then you slowly start to open your eyes. Yeah, you're in bed and you start, slowly start to open your eyes and your breath is very deep, but you start to notice your breath a little more and you notice like noises in the house maybe. What are some of the noises you might hear as you're waking up in the morning? Yeah? The, washer. the washer's on. Someone likes to do laundry early in the morning, so the washer's on. Yeah? You don't hear anything. It's just silence. Okay, yeah. Maybe it's just quiet. You hear mommy and daddy downstairs. Yeah, so maybe there are other people in the house with you that you hear. Yeah? So, okay, so you roll over. So, yeah, so maybe you're, you're starting to wake up. How many of you do a big stretch uh, to wake up? Yeah, because your body's still really sleepy. Maybe you yawn. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, one more. I do. You hear snoring? Yeah, sometimes that happens too. And it's, okay, I won't say which child said, especially from your dad. Okay. So you hear, so you be kind, you kind of, you start to wake up and you become more aware of different things all around you and your body. So that, that waking up time is really special because we're becoming more aware of our bodies and our bodies are waking up. But waking up can also mean waking up in our hearts as well, not just in our, in our bodies, but the kind of the things that we feel. And in that waking up time, it's really special because that can be a time when we start to wake up in our hearts for all the things there are to be grateful for. So like I was just saying, it's just, isn't it amazing that we even wake up each and every day? And that's something that we can give thanks for. So in the morning when you're, when you're waking up, what are some of the other things you can be thankful for? Yeah? The smell of coffee. The smell of coffee. <laughs> Started young. Okay. Yes. A pillow. Oh, I am so thankful for my pillow. Yeah. Yeah? You go to the computer. So you're thankful for your computer because it provides entertainment. How about some of those when you heard, you know, noises of your of your mom and your dad or even your sister snoring? Are those people to be thankful for in your lives? 
Yeah, some, some hesitant nodding. Okay, yes. Great, anyone else, something you might be thankful for, yeah. You hear a water bottle fall down. Does that make you feel grateful? For water, maybe. You don't even hear it. Just magically water appears out of our tap. That's something to be thankful for, I think. So one thing you can do, you know, anytime before getting out of bed is just to stop for a second, you know, before you rush to your computer or run downstairs so you can smell more of that coffee. You can just kind of be in bed and wake up in your heart. So as your body's waking up, you can also say, how can my heart be awake to all of the things that there are to be grateful for? And you can do that at any time of the day also, not just when you're waking up and getting out of bed. At any time, like right now, when you're already awake, you can wake up to your hearts and just think, what is there to be grateful for in life? And there's just so much, isn't there? And I'm really grateful for each and every one of you and for your attentive listening this morning. And as we leave here and think about all the things that we can be grateful for, we also remember that being grateful in our hearts means that our hearts are even more open to other people and that we can be more available and generous and to love people even more. So thank you so much for listening, and we're going to sing you out to your classes.